It's tragic here, starting a brand new series with Rain, a tutorial guide, part one. Jumping right in, Rain is a zoner who you want to keep at a distance using special moves until you feel that you have an advantage. Now that doesn't mean Rain can't throw hands up close. So there are a few B and B's you should know even if Johnny Cage is pushing your shit in with star power on. Okay, so B and B's are called bread and butters and should be burned into your skull. If you don't know what bread and butter means, that just means you do this every day. You are great at it and you won't forget it. Now there are five base combos with rain. Let's break each one down. Attitude adjustment is your one one two that is safe on block and has a seven frame startup. Now, if you don't know what frame data is or what safe on block is, I'll be breaking those down in depth later. Stick around to find out. The next move we're gonna talk about is wave crash. If you have an opponent who is standing blocking your attitude adjustment, you can try switching it up and finishing low with wave crash. This can really mess with your opponent's heads and catch them off guard, never knowing which way you're gonna attack from. Next we have when it rains it pours. This combo is great for people who like the low duck block. Also, you can start this combo from a pretty good distance away. You don't have to necessarily be right up on them. That's gonna get covered more into our spaces. Also, it creates great distance when an opponent is blocking in their stand-up space and they block the whole combo as such. Look at that space right there that we created. This is what we want with rain. Attitude adjustment does this as well. Look how much space we get. Water world is a mid-low high combo that continues switching up where you are attacking from. Understanding where your attack lands on your opponent, such as the high, the mid, or the low, is crucial with Rain because he is always switching up where he's attacking from, making you unpredictable, and keeping your opponents guessing. Our last B and B is centrifugal force, which is a double overhead. I would suggest starting this with a little bit of space out of range of your opponent's basic attacks as it pulls you forward. This is our first pop-up in the B and B's, which you can learn how to chain into other combos. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna break down frame data and safe on block. And this can be kind of complicated. I'm gonna break it down the best I can. So our move splash, which leads into the two bread and butters that I taught you, attitude adjustment, only takes seven frames. So everything I'm gonna be referring to is gonna be over here at frame data. We're gonna be talking about startup and we're gonna be talking about block advantage, okay? So splash has seven startup frames and it looks like this and it goes into our attitude adjustment combo. Now what's important about this and why you should study this if you're trying to become a better player is knowing that the startup frame of seven, sec of seven means that if an opponent starts an attack at the same time as me, for example, Floodgate, it has a startup of 13 frames. So that means if I start up my attitude adjustment with splash XXY, we will win that engagement by six frames. And in layman terms, that just means I'll attack first. So splash leading into attitude adjustment and wave crash are gonna be your fastest startup attacks along with jet spray, which is your duck one. These are gonna be the combos that you're gonna be looking for to beat an opponent when you're really close. This is where rain can excel because this is a very fast attack and knowing when to use it, when to stop because you've been blocked and when to duck attack is going to make you faster than your opponent. Also everyone, I just wanna mention if you're scrolling through the frame data startups after this, do not get when it rains, it pours confused because it says it has a startup of one. That is assuming that you have already landed your anti-dry spell, which has a startup of 10. So the anti-dry spell goes, and then this has a startup of one. So that still means that splash leading into these two is going to be faster than where this says one. What is block advantage? Block advantage is determined by if an opponent blocks my hits slash combos, can I successfully block after finishing my combo before they hit me? Right? So look at this attack tsunami. This is just down A, our ducking three, and it has a minus 12 block advantage. So that means after the opponent blocks this attack, they will recover 12 frames faster than us. So let's take a look. If I do down A, what I want you to look at is Johnny and how much faster he stands up and unblocks than me. That means he has 12 frames right there to attack me. It's very quick, but in fighting games, that is a big advantage. So for us, what do we have for rain that is safe on block? 
So this a block advantage of zero. That means me and the opponent will be able to hit each other or block at the end of this at the same time. So attitude adjustment is going to be the combo that we're looking to do when we're up close and personal because it has a super fast startup of seven frames and we have a block advantage of zero, meaning we can block or try to get in another attack before our combo returns to hitting us, say if they choose a startup with a lot of frames. And also look at attitude adjustment. It's safe on block and it creates distance for us. The other safe on block attack that we have is trench foot, with, which is just a, and it has a block advantage of four frames. This is a high attack. So even though it comes out of the ground, it looks like it's a low attack, but it's not. This can be great for getting people out of the air. And look, I can block before Johnny. So that's showing you how it's safe. This can also be chained into specials, such as your geyser. But just know if you they block the geyser, you're going to have a longer time to recover. Spacing and zoning is going to be a big part of winning matches with rain. Connecting on those fast frame data combos that I taught you earlier is going to be crucial if you have a rush down or a character who likes to stay in your face. So now if we look into the attitude adjustment, if you have someone that's in your face and you want to get them away and be zoned far away like what we prefer with Rain, we're going to try to use this combo because of its start, its start up frames and it's safe on block like I taught you. So look, it puts them away, giving you space, allowing you to use any of your specials that you choose. This spacing could allow us to get a free combo while switching up our attacks and making it to where we only go in when we're ready to. All right, what we want to look about at now is our back Y or our back two, and then our regular A. And learning how we can use these through a wave dash cancel. If you don't know what a dash cancel is, uh, a dash cancel is when you press a move when you dash or a block to stop the dash, right? So this is the full dash. This is the dash cancel. See, I can literally stop like, right in his face. You can even choose the distance to where you want to try to do the attack from or the block. So what you're going to want to do is come in with your back two, your back Y, and try it from different spacings and see where it will hit. Like, I know it won't hit right here, but I know it will hit right here. And so understanding that space, understanding how to wave dash away and use that move is going to be great for you in creating space and pressure. You can even use the back Y to chain a special move and gain even more space. You're going to want to come in and practice just your two, your Y, your anti-dry spell and see where it can hit. Obviously, you can hit really close, but there's a distance that you can stand away and hit that last attack on. This is also going to be great in understanding how close you want to be to the opponent. I typically like to stay right here and choose when I would go in. So I know that the second hit will hit there. And we could also use this with centrifugal force, pulling in forward, understanding that sweet spot with rain of where we want to be if your opponent is jumping towards you a lot you can keep this spacing kind of like right here with rain and he has two great attacks that will stop opponents and land you a hit it's going to be your anti dry spell and your a and so to practice this what we can do is we can go into the opponent type scroll over to playback recording and record ourselves jumping forward as the opponent with an attack and i'm going to show you what i did with johnny and how you can practice it so Look, he's going to jump and low kick me right there, right? So you can bring it back and practice your anti-dry spell and your, and your A. Understanding the timing of those, see, I missed that one, and when they hit and what spacing is going to be really good with rain because you don't always have to block just because someone jumps in the air. Go in, make a recording, and practice when to press these moves and where they'll hit. And even the anti-dry spell can hit the whole combo. Like that. All right, guys, that's part one of our rain tutorial guide on how to use him as a character. I hope this is going to help you out. If you have anything that you would want done in the next video, please comment down below and I will look into it. I'm thinking the next video is going to cover his portals and how to use them and basically just go over all of his special moves and how to get distance with those and where we're going to be using them, the slow ones, what I've been finding myself getting punished on. Like I said, comment down below some things you'd like to see. I've been streaming. My social is going to be in the description below. I'm Tragic with That's Tragic Gaming, and I'm out.